Hello, welcome back to the Azure DevOps Tools Learning Series. Right. So as of now, we have learned that about what is a test plan, right, and how we can different ways of creating test cases, and you have learned that how we can execute them, like uh, by marking manually or uh, by using the the web application things that it comes like, and how. we can add the bug at that time also we saw that how to manage the different work items right and the requirement traceability matrix how that can be taken care and before that we learned the basic that what is the org and what is a project right so in this one we will create a sample project right sometimes you don't have time to uh, create a project and add all those items for the purpose of learning so azure devops provides these uh, ready made so uh projects so i'll share this link in the description what you have to do is like you can click on this get started using the demo generator so here you can click on sign in and you already have an account because you are following this series i assume right so you can choose a template from here so this is a agile scrum and you can learn various things from these templates like some of these are already having the inbuilt pipelines if you want to run a selenium code or uh, some other codes so all these things are already uh, inbuilt in some sample projects so based on your needs you can use it so i'll explain from the basic perspective right let's take one of the projects i am selecting so i'll choose a template i am choosing this template and i'll give my project as this sample and there is one organization that i have for now and i'll click on this create project so it will take some time to get it created so there can be some issues like you see here will why provisioning fail you can this issue right so let's select any another project instead of that we'll select another one let me select this contoso air right and i'll select the same and i'll give a name contoso air testing so you have to uh, check this out that what is written over here because what i have noticed that sometimes the things are getting created right so for this contoso air with the name test it was created but uh, i was seeing some error here so i think there must be some bug due to which we are getting this error but if i go here in projects you can see that various projects uh, got created and it's written that generated by azure devops generator so various projects got created because i tried various time let's click on one of so we have the tailwind project okay it already has these work items created so you need not to create such work items in this one so uh, in this video let's see what is boards okay so there is already a board that is created so daily tasks are tracked on this board right so generally and you can navigate it from Uh, this button let me show you fully here right in work items in boards you can go to this boards right mostly it would be similar or a little bit different implementation right so you can see that which all things are active and you can track at various levels from here you see this drop down so you can see the feature level and stories level right and you can there are this is called as swim lane diagram because it's like a like swimming arena right you will, there is new there is active and there is resolved so things moved from this to this direction right so you can like move these things for example i can have the uh, drop down facility like i can click here in the daily meetings you know that okay people are working on things and it will move like this and it will update the status right L let me show you so likewise even if tasks are appearing here it can be managed like in daily uh, scrum call that you generally have so people will give status on their task and there can be various uh, filters that can be applied for example we can check that what is assigned to me uh, as of now there is nothing except the one which i moved and you can see that uh, by this movement it will be captured here in the history which we uh, discussed in the earlier portion right i moved it to resolved and all 
so if scrum master is handling that call and they are making they are asking team members so generally team members do do that but sometimes if they forgot the person can move it and their name would be listed over here right so this can be even uh, created at the work item level right so we can have various filters that are applied over here like which iteration we are talking about right you can have even current iteration filters in this and these are the settings uh, which you can change that which all things will appear over here and you can see it as a backlogs as well like if i click on backlog i can see that this is all the backlog like it will pick data from all the iteration you see iteration 1 iteration 2 and here it is coming separately as well so if i click on iteration 3 i'll just see iteration 3 data over here and here you can add the capacity for example if i want to add uh, my user over here right and uh, if i want to say that like suppose there are meetings and i work 8 hours a day so 2 hours in meeting and other work so i can say that my capacity is 6 like for some leads people add 3 hours capacity and if people are working in multiple project they can add those things and if you are taking some leaves you can enter here so i can say i am on leave from 1st to 4th right must be within the current iteration okay so uh, the iteration that i have opened it must be having some different dates like you can see here it's may 23 to june so i am taking leave from 24th may to let's say 30th may and i'll put okay so this helps in planning that people are leave on uh, how many days right and it you can assign the team accordingly that uh, testing would have less capacity for 5 days in this iteration right so this helps in capacity planning uh, this one right and here you can see the burn down chart that how much is the initial like initially you planned that uh, there would be suppose there are uh, two weeks of sprint right so two weeks means that uh, everybody is suppose working for 8 hours right and there are five members right so your per day capacity is 40 hours if you multiply it with 10 you get the capacity of 400 hours right so you planned for 400 hours of work so when you mark them close it will come down 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 like this so you can see here burn down chart right sometimes if you add more task in between sprint then uh, uh, this capacity capacity will not increase but the task will increase right so that way we can see that how the task which were decided initially were they able to close or there were new task added because sometimes it's like that that still 100 hours of task are still pending right so in retrospective you decide that how they got pending or something was not clear you moved it to the next sprint right so all those things you can do in this analytics capacity is if anybody is taking leaves and all right and uh, we can see this backlog backlog will be having all the items like uh, so that uh, you can decide where to pick but you can keep on creating the user stories right you can pick it later on based on the priorities for that right so here in the task board you see that we are having these task and these are listed against user stories right so suppose if i am working on this task for today right i can maybe enter the estimates over here for example original estimated i thought that it will take 10 hours right and i can save it so what happened is that daily i'll update for example i completed 4 hours of task this is the way you can do the tracking of hours in adio like for example 4 is completed 6 is pending right next day i would say remaining 0 and 10 right but you can say that gorov uh, estimates are not generally very correct right it can take 14 hours so you can add 4 over here that 4 is still pending right you have consumed you have estimated 10 you have completed 10 but still 4 is remaining right and later on when it is complete you can mention 14 hours so that uh, we know that Uh, a task took more hours and in next time we can be more careful while that and once you mark this task as closed right this will get logged and then later on this can be checked that how your estimates are working you see it automatically got moved or, or we can manually move from here then here right and then here so this is the way tasks are planned via board in azure devops using the task board 
and you can even like various people are telling in the sprint call and you have so many user story then you can apply this filter and the whole team can know that who is working on what right and here are column options by which you can add more columns that what all things you want right so you can give the column name if you want to see the bugs also right so this will get updated so this is the usage of boards right we created a sample project so that we can get all these uh, work items automatically to understand boards so we covered today this boards where we covered this backlog capacity analytics right so if you have any questions do let me know and if you are getting stuck anywhere right we can have the discussion thank you for watching